Welcome to N4 Electrotechnics, and in this lesson, we'll be taking a look at series and parallel networks. Now, for series circuits, to calculate the total resistance, it'll be R1 plus R2 plus R3. The total voltage is equal to the sum of the volt drops, and the total current is the same throughout the circuit. For parallel circuits, to calculate the total resistance, 1 over RT is equal to 1 over R1 plus 1 over R2, plus 1 over R3. The current is the sum of the current through each branch through the resistance, and the total voltage is equal to the voltage across the parallel branch. In summary, in a series circuit, total resistance is equal to the sum of the values of the resistance. In a parallel circuit, the reciprocal of the total resistance equals the sum of the reciprocals of the individual resistances. For voltage in a series circuit, the total voltage is equal to the sum of the voltage drops across the circuit. In a parallel circuit, the total voltage is the same across each resistor. In a series circuit, the total current is the same in all parts of the circuit. And in a parallel circuit, the total current is equal to the sum of the individual currents through each resistor. Here we have a previous exam type question for a series and parallel combination. A resistor of an unknown value R is connected in parallel with the resistance of 30 ohms. This combination is in series with a resistor of 20 ohms. The circuit is connected across 120 volts DC supply. Calculate the value of R when 3 amps current is drawn from the supply. So here we have our circuit diagram, R1 and R2 are in parallel, and this parallel combination is connected in series with R3. The unknown factor in this diagram is the value of R1. We have a total voltage supply of 120 volts and total current supply throughout the circuit of 3 amps. So the first thing we're going to do is try and determine what the volt drop is across the series resistor. To do this, we'll say total current multiplied by the value of R3. Therefore, 3 amps multiplied by 20 ohms gives us a volt drop of 60 volts. Now, this is going to determine the volt drop across the parallel branch. We have the supply voltage minus the volt drop across the series resistor to determine the volt drop across the parallel branch. Therefore, 120 minus 60 it gives us 60 volts across the parallel branch. Now that we got voltage parallel, we can determine the value of the parallel branch in terms of its resistance. Resistance parallel is equal to VP over IT. Therefore, 60 volts divided by 3 amps gives us 20 ohms for the parallel branch. Now that we have resistance in the parallel branch, we can determine the value of R1. So using our formula, 1 over Rp is equal to 1 over R1 plus 1 over R2. Let's substitute all the values. 1 over 20 for the value of the parallel branch is equal to 1 over R1 plus 1 over 30. Now, if we take these fractions across in order to get R1 on its own, 1 over R1 is equal to 1 over 20 minus 1 over 30. Therefore, 1 over R1 is equal to 1 over 60. And we'll have to invert this answer. Therefore, the value for our number 1 resistor is 60 ohms. Here's another type of exam question for a series and parallel combination. A resistance of 3 ohms is connected in parallel with a resistance of 15 ohms. This combination is connected in series with a third resistor of 3,5 ohms. If the whole circuit is connected across a battery having an EMF of 24 volts and an internal resistance of 2 ohms. Now it's important to note that the EMF of a battery is measured without load. So in other words, if we take a voltmeter and we measure the EMF of the battery, it means the EMF is 24 volts and the internal resistance is 2 ohms. However, when we connect up the circuit and we have a closed circuit and we measure voltage across the battery, we'll be measuring potential difference. 
So the first part of the question is to determine the terminal voltage of the battery. And the second part of the question is the current through each resistor in the parallel branch. All right, in part A, to calculate the terminal voltage of the battery. Now, in order to do that, in order to calculate the volt drop across the battery, we first need the total current and the total resistance. To calculate the total resistance, it will be the resistance of the parallel branch plus the value of the series resistor. Then to calculate the total current, we will say the EMF divided by the total resistance of the circuit, which is the external resistance plus the internal resistance. All right, let's go ahead and calculate the resistance total. To calculate the resistance of the parallel branch, we'll say 1 over RP is equal to 1 over R1 plus 1 over R2 plus the value of the series resistor. Therefore, 1 over 3 plus 1 over 15 plus the series resistor, the value of the resistance for the parallel branch is 2,5 ohms plus the series resistor, and that gives us a total resistance of 6 ohms. Now, to calculate the total current, it is the EMF of 24 volts divided by the total resistance of the circuit, which is 6 ohms plus 2 ohms, Therefore, the total current in the circuit is 3 amps. Right, now we can determine the volt drop across the battery with a closed circuit. The total current is 3 amps, and the total resistance is 6 ohms. Therefore, the potential difference across the battery with a closed circuit is 18 volts. Now to calculate the current through each resistor in the parallel branch. Now before we can calculate I1 and I2, we first need to know what the value of the voltage is across the parallel branch. The total current is 3 amps, and the resistance of the parallel branch is 2,5 ohms. Therefore, the volt drop across the parallel branch is 7,5 volts. Using Ohm's law, I is equal to V over R, the value of the parallel voltage divided by R1 and R2. Therefore, for I1, it'll be 7,5 divided by 3. And for I2, it'll be 7,5 divided by 15. If we add up I1 and I2, it should add up to the total current in the circuit of 3M. So this answers are correct. Right, what I want you to do is to push pause now. I've put the answers next to the question, and I want you to try this question on your own. And let's see if you can get the answers. Once you've got those answers, thanks again for watching these videos. Uh, don't forget to hit that subscribe button and to like and share these videos. Thank you.